Today we begin a brand new segment where we try ridiculously popular recipes from the internet and then we ask ourselves, is it legit or is it? probably can't say the word this early in a YouTube video, so Max will put it on the screen. Is it legit or is it? This one comes to us courtesy of a website called Don La Cuisine de Sue. Don La Cuisine de Sue. Obviously French. And uh, Don La Cuisine de Sue roughly translated means in the penny kitchen, which I'm guessing means in the inexpensive kitchen. Cheap French cooking. Here's what this is. This is a recipe where chicken legs are cooked in milk and water before being deep fried has potential. Certainly it merits us making it because 64 million people have watched it. It's twice as many people in my home country of Canada. That's what that is. It's a lot of damn people. So we're gonna find out, is it legit or is it? And everything happens for now in this pan right here, right below me. We begin with chicken legs. And after watching this recipe, I'm pretty certain you could use any cut, any part you like, but what do I know? I grew up in a cult. Okay, I didn't. It's just a line from a YouTube channel I watch. Now here comes the fun part. If milk means fun to you. We pour in 200 mils of whole milk. And 200 mils is how much chance? Uh, half a cup. Three quarters of a cup. Very close. Next, and this part kind of grosses me out. 200 mils of water. I don't know why that grosses me out. It's okay. All right, then we do this. We season salt and pepper. Take a couple garlic cloves. We pop them in. We turn on the heat. Now what we want to get this to is kind of a nice simmer because we're going to put a lid on it. If it's boiling too rapidly, too ferociously, too fiercely, too fero too, with too much ferocity, it'll bubble over and you don't want that because we're going to put a lid on it. And we see it starting to bubble like this. We turn it down a little bit. We put our lid on and hopefully your lid has my face on it. That's creepy. And keep an eye on it. 20 minutes at a nice little bubble, but nothing that overflows because that'll make a huge milky mess and will suck. You see this? This bubbling? That's what you want. Just like that. It's under control. It's not going off the edge. It's not pouring over. It's just doing this. Have it do this for the 20 minutes and you're going to be fine. 64 million views. And at the end of 20 minutes, we only have one job. Okay, two, one, pull up the lid and turn the pieces of chicken over like that. Beautiful. Okay. I mean, I don't know what it's going to taste, but I'm going to tell you, it smells good. You smell the garlic here, Max. Mm -hmm. It's quite nice, isn't it? It's just like poaching kind of and milk. Milk poach things is a thing. All right, 20 more minutes. All right, while the chicken finishes, we can get our dredging station set because yes, there's dredging. We're frying the chicken after. So of course there's beaten egg. Yes. Of course there's crispy panko. Yes. And then the flour component. And here's our flour. Spread it out. And then we will give it the following. Black pepper, chili powder, garlic powder, smoked paprika, parsley, and salt. We'll add all of these to here and we'll mix to combine like this. You know, this part is not so different from fairly typical fried chicken. I mean, of course, the big difference is we'll be starting with it cooked and from a milk bath at that. We're gonna be ready when the chicken's ready. And our second 20 is done. Turn it off, lift the lid, and revel in that delicious smell. Wait, is smell delicious? That intoxicating smell, that's what I meant. So these guys are now gonna come out and just cool for just a second. Oh boy, look at that. These are fall apart done fall apart done. What do you do with this milky leftover? I want to do something with it. All right, we're going to give these guys three minutes to cool just a little bit. Then we flour, dredge, egg, panko, then we fry. And we're happening. So we take a leg. Yep, it's still definitely a bit warm. Coat it up nicely in the flour. And yes, I repeat myself. The flour helps the egg stick. And if it wasn't obvious, the egg helps the panko stick. You got to get it all on here first. Drip it off, and in you go. When you got your piece coated nicely, put on something clean, tackle the rest. All righty, here's our last kid. Shake off that gross excess in the panko on top. I like to give it a good squeeze. I want it to stay on. Beautiful, all right. This goes on our tray. We head to the fryer, and we're almost there, almost to find out if this is legit or... Okay, everybody, since our chicken is fully cooked, we're just going in for color. And this is probably not going to take more than a couple minutes. When they're gorgeously brown, out they come. Look at that. So they've been in about a minute. Look how pretty they are. 
We'll give him another 30 and pull him. All right. Sacre bleu, as they would say at the website. Pull these guys out. Oh, the crunch is insane. I can tell just by what the tongs are telling me. Righty. Three more will go in. You guys can go to the front, and we're almost eaten. And our final three. Uno, dos, tres. Look how pretty that is, huh? Come on now. Come on now. Looks like some mighty fine looking chicken, doesn't it? Mighty fine. But that's not the question. The question isn't whether it's mighty fine or not. The question is, well, just wait. All right, well, the numbers here have depleted a little because I've given each of the boys theirs because we're gonna all take a bite at the same time and then declare whether we think they are legit or shit. So boys, let's get on it. Well, they're certainly beautiful and they smell good. Boys? Oh yeah. Okay, on three. And then, and then don't give your answer until I prompt you. Take a bite, think about it. All right, I mean, <laughs> you, know, you just, <laughs> you prompt us, go ahead. I'm gonna go one, two, three, and then you're gonna say legit or shit. Okay. Okay? Okay. One, two, three. Legit! Shit! Fuck. They're delicious. I was, I did. I was just trying to get somebody to go along with me. They're delicious. They do need a little more salt. I don't know if I've ever had a drummy this tender before. No, that's the thing. They're ridiculously tender. Watch, you could probably just do this. Just pull the oh chicken meat God. right off. There. Yeah, they're legit. A little bit of work. And of course, if you don't have a deep fryer, cast iron pan, inch and a half oil, just turn it. These literally took like two minutes in the fryer. Legit, it's our first one. Thank God it was legit. If you have a suggestion, something you've been looking at, wondering if it's good or bad, legit or, send it to us. Let us know in the comments. I can't stop eating. It's legit. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us. Give us a like, hit the subscribe button, and uh, don't eat the same shit all the time. In fact, don't eat shit, only eat good stuff. Then we do what we do to them.